Hey y'all, welcome back to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. Thanks for joining us. We're on YouTube and we might even post this one up on our Facebook. Hey, it's Melissa. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry on YouTube. This morning, we're in the kitchen. I'm not super confident in the kitchen, but I do enjoy trying new recipes and, and trying to get better at being confident in the kitchen. So I'm gonna just real quick show you what we're doing with some of our own Twin Oaks Farm Poultry chicken drumsticks. So. Twin Oaks Poultry is an Ohio original. We raise it right here on site at our little family farm. And uh, like I said, we're starting with the drumsticks. I'm gonna be using my Pampered Chef air, air fryer, which I'm still getting used to because we haven't had it very long. So we pulled out two packages of drumsticks, four drumsticks in a pack, 1.04 pound and that one was about 0.95 pounds. So, you know, right at two pounds of meat. And I'm actually using a recipe from Pampered Chef in the air fryer cooking guide for chicken wings. So there's the picture, but we're just gonna convert it to a drumstick recipe here. Um, not going to really worry about the hot sauce, but trying to basically follow the instructions for the wings with my drumsticks. So um, just kind of like long story short, I opened up my drumsticks. We had thawed them. They had been frozen. Um, nice looking chicken drumsticks. These come from Cornish Rock Cross Meat Chickens. And uh, I've been told and have read that the secret to really getting your seasonings to do well on your chicken or on your meats is to dry the meat well. So like I said, it had been frozen. We thawed it when I pulled it out and opened the packages up. I took just some napkins, disposable napkins. We try to stay away from disposable, but in this case, I went ahead and used them. And I just patted these dry, both sides, as, as well as I could. So the gist of this recipe is we're putting them into a little seasoning mix that is basically, this was just two teaspoons of baking powder. And I just used a generic, you know, y'all? Probably got it at the dollar store. I don't use that a lot. Um, I. I put some ground, that's also dollar store generic, I'm sure. Um, we use this a lot. I put some ground pepper, ground black pepper on there. And I actually use this seasoning. We got this the last Tennessee trip. We love, love East Tennessee, Smoky Mountain area. Um, got this down in Pigeon Forge, Backwoods Hickory Rub Seasoning. The recipe over here, as you can see, calls for bake, well, you can't see baking powder, salt, and black pepper, but we're gonna use that, like I said, I'll show it to you again. I wanted to use this up, so, Backwoods Hickory Rub Seasoning from Spice and Tea Exchange in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We'll be going back to East Tennessee soon, love East Tennessee. Gonna get some new spices and seasonings to try, so we wanna be using up what we got from last trip. So, it basically says to just put these meat pieces into this uh, mixture and coat them and the reason for the baking powder I'm told so we're to coat this and let it stand five minutes um, so the reason for the baking powder I am told is that it'll like help we're gonna make it in the air fryer so it'll help crisp up the skin it'll kind of like make little bubbles on the skin and while that's air frying you know it'll like crisp that up a little bit so I mean this is kind of like just challenging for me to do with one hand but <laughs> we're gonna try to do it but you're supposed to basically and that you know that may have been a great amount for wings it's it's the same amount of meat the recipe was for two sorry for two pounds of wings and this is two pounds of drummies but um and i look at that y'all i don't even know that was fuzz off of my sweatshirt that i got on my chicken so good thing i'm cooking for my family huh and not yours but um anyway so you know a home kitchen is a home kitchen it is what it is so so anyway so that it's that baking powder is supposed to like sort of let the uh the skin kind of um fry up a little crispier in the air fryer is what i have read so we're trying to get this all covered so supposed to get i mean it's not covered but you know you're getting some seasonings on there um I, I know there's somebody out there that's like, oh my gosh, touching raw chicken. But, you know, there's only one way to make chicken. you got to, like, get your hands in there. So, anyway, so we're supposed to coat this with our seasonings. 
dust it with our seasonings and then let it stand about five minutes so we'll do that so I'm going to show you there it says pat them dry combine the baking powder salt and pepper we use different seasonings let this stand five minutes and it calls for a tablespoon of vegetable oil and oil for spritzing the oil for spritzing is for your pans so um I'll just put a little bit of, I'm actually going to put olive oil on it, so it's going to call for a tablespoon of that. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do that while I'm holding the camera, so you'll just have to take my word for it. going to put the, the IGA olive oil on there next, and then uh, we'll put, you know, we'll get our air fryer going. So in the case of the Pampered Chef one, like it's plugged in, and so I think I press, well, let me rinse my hand off, and I'll figure out what I'm doing here. Um... I can't remember. I think it might have a on and off. I'll have to find it. But anyway, so I'll find it. So um, what we end up doing once I get it turned on correctly is like a no. I press this or turn this. So we'll end up select an air fry. And then I think it comes up like time and temperature. So I'll select air fry and then I can turn the wheel to select the time and turn the wheel again to select the temperature and um, we'll select air fry and it's telling me to select three, uh, 30 minutes. So we'll select air fry, we'll let it use the temperature that it defaults to, we'll pick 30 minutes and then I'm supposed to switch the trays halfway through cooking and uh, this one happens to have a beeper halfway through the cook time that tells you. So, and then meanwhile, you it says uh, step four, combine the butter and hot sauce in a small pan to slowly melt the butter over medium low heat. We'll probably use like ranch dressing or barbecue sauce for that. And so when the timer is up, remove it from the air fryer, toss in your sauce or serve it on the side. So here's where I was telling you a place that I've read this, Cook's Tip.